going, everyone? <coughs> Woo! Mega Masher is here, and you know what? I figured since Hoopa Unbound has been recently freshly released, I am going to make a video that I said that I was going to be making for a very long time known as a how to build a team guide. And it just so happens that Hoopa Unbound is my pick to build a team around. So I'm going to show you guys how to build a team properly, in my opinion, although I'm not an expert. But this team has not let me down. And I have a video demonstration that shows you exactly how well this team functions. Now, contrary to the fact that I got off a 12-hour night shift this morning at 8 a.m., I went to the gym right thereafter and did an insane chest-beating workout where the result, I bench-pressed 315 pounds for three reps. I'm fucking, I'm, I still have all this energy left. And you know what? I'm going to dedicate that energy to you. The audience, my friends, the subscribers, by making videos that you will enjoy. And this right here is no motherfucking exception. So let's get on with this video on this epic as hell team building around Hoopa motherfucking Unbound. Okay, so as you all know, Hoopa Unbound, let's just take a look at them delicious ass stats right quick. Okay, okay, so let's just take a look here. So, it is a dark psychic type. So, let's take a look at its offenses, okay? So, it has 160 attack, 170 special attack, and 80 speed. The speed is... Uh, if it had a speed boosting move, it wouldn't be that bad. It wouldn't be that bad, okay? But, the fact that it doesn't... Okay, we're gonna have some problems here. But you know what? That's okay, okay? Brush the dirt off your shoulders because I got this covered. So, let's take a look here. So, obviously the base 60 defense is going to be something that we need to watch out for Hoopa Unbound for. Especially because of the fact that now that this shit has been released, you, I will almost guarantee that all of the teams are going to spam the fuck out of U-Turn. If they see that crazy six-armed genie that's over 20 feet tall and wreaking freaking havoc. Which is why I got a plan. So, here's what I am going to do. First off, for an item, I am going to equip this bitch with Life Orb. Why? I'll show you. Holders attacks do 1.3, that's 3% extra damage, and it loses... 10% of its max health after the attack. That's fine, bro. That's fine. That's fine. This thing is a Pokemon that outdamages the shit out of a lot of Pokemon that are Mega. And you could say that Hoopa Unbound is kind of like an extra Mega on your team. Which is why it's so awesome. So, the first thing that we got to do, we got to hook it up with some stab. So you know what I'm thinking? First off, first off, there are plenty of ways to run Hoopa Unbound, but for me, personally, I love mixed attack Hoopa. It's so good! And this is how it's done. So, first off, we're going to give it a stab Dark Pulse, stab Psychic, and we are going to equip it with Drain Punch. Now, why these three moves is because with the combination of dark, psychic, and fighting type moves, you have unmotherfucking resisted coverage. That is incredible! Now, of course, we got a fourth move slot here. We got a fourth move slot here. And this is where the fucking crunch comes into play, okay? The fourth move slot strictly depends on how you build your team around Hoopa Unbound. And for me, personally, I'm going to equip this bitch with Gunk Shot. Why? Because this thing happens to have a weakness to fairy type moves. Gunk Shot, a poison type move, is going to annihilate, fucking annihilate, poison to death, those P 
pesky ass fairy type Pokemon. And you know what? Look at that. That is some colorful fucking moves right there. Dark, psychic, biting, and poison? Damn, son. That's fucking ace. And see, something else I love about Pokemon Showdown is that suggested spread. It comes up with a suggested spread for you that you cannot go wrong with. So, it's a fast physical sweeper, max speed, max special attack, for attack. And we're going to be going with the hasty nature because why would you want to lower that special defense? Unlike the fact that it can't take physical hits very well, base 130 special defense uninvested, this thing will be able to switch into semi-comfortably without any super effective effect against it. It will be able to switch into special attacks, eat that shit up like motherfucking multivitamins, and it's just going to proceed to wreck face. So, that right there is team member number one. And I decided, I decided, you know what? I'm going to add in a Pokemon that punishes U-turn spam. Not so much offensively, but defensively. And I'm going to show you exactly who I'm talking about. Load, bitch. Okay, what do we got? Garchomp. Now, Garchomp for years, has made a name for itself as the one of the most dangerous offensive threats there is in OU. And as a matter of fact, the past two generations, it got banned to Ubers, and for good reason. But guess what? Rough Skin gave it a new niche in battle, and in my opinion, this is my favorite way to run guard chop. We're going to have Rough Skin, and what does Rough Skin do? Okay, okay, so Rough Skin... Pokemon making contact with this Pokemon loses one-eighth of their max health. You know what that means. U-turn happens to be a contact move, so they're going to lose health when it comes to U-turn spamming. And you know what's going to be even worse about this? Rocky Helmet, bitch. Rocky Helmet, bitch. That's like an extra rough skin. If the holder is hit by a contact move, the attacker loses one-sixth. Damn, son. Someone's getting paid. Woo! Of his max health. So that means you stack that shit up. They're going to be losing fucking... I, I, it's somewhere between 25 and 20% of their health. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So before we get to the move set, let's just take a look at the stats right quick. So let's look at this. Base 108 HP. That's actually very good for a sweeper. Base 130 physical attack. Also very good for a sweeper. Base 102 speed. Fucking hot Damn, what an amazing speed tier. That is awesome. And you know what? Its defenses aren't even that bad either. Base 95 sp sp defense, physical defense, not special defense. The special defense happens to be 85. And the special attack 80, it's, it's okay, okay. You can have the occasional fire blast on the Garchomp to fuck the shit out of Ferrothorn and Scizor, but... We're not going to really need to do that in this situation. And I'll tell you why later on. I, I got this. I got this, bro. I got a fucking plan. So, you know what we're going to do? We're going to turn this bitch into a motherfucking defensive chomp that just does not die that easy. So, first off, you know what we're going to do? Stealth Rock, bitch. That is a staple for Guard Chomp. Next, we are going with Roar to phase the fuck. Out of any Pokemon that think, oh, this is a, a defensive guard chop. We can go ahead and set up a no, bitch. Roar phases your motherfucking ass out. Next up, we got Earthquake because you know what? Even without any attack investment, Earthquake coming from an uninvested base 130 attack with stab, it hurts. So the next move that we got, we are gonna go with Dragon Tail. Now, see, here's the thing. Here is the thing. Here's the, the issue I have with Dragon Tail, okay? First off, Dragon Tail is a dragon type move. That means that fairies can switch in and kind of fuck you up a little bit. But this thing also has base 90 accuracy. And this move has occasionally let me down. But that's okay, okay? Because we got dual phase. In case some fucker decides to taunt your ass, that means that Roar can't be used. But guess what? Dragon Tail can. WHAP! You're done. You're swatted your fucking ass out. So that means that we are going to nearly max that 
HP, that delicious ass HP. We're gonna max out that defense and ma and give the rest into speed. And we will be going with a motherfucking impish nature. Now just take a look at that. Take a look at that sexy ass defense. Whoa, damn son, too far. That sexy ass defense. We got 317 physical defense coupled with 419 HP. Hot damn. That means that this thing is going to be eating up them U-turns. Yum, 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 yum. Delicious so all motherfucking day long. Now this, this right here is not the only defensive member that we got on this team. Let's move on. Okay, okay. So let's load some shit up. And the next Pokemon that I thought of that would be absolutely perfect to form a core with Garchomp and Hoopa. Skarmory, bitch! Because, like, as I demonstrated before, Skarmory just doesn't die. It doesn't die. It has been a staple Pokemon in OU since its existence in Generation 2, and for good fucking reason. Let's just take a look at the stats before... We Actually, no. Let's hook it up with the Sturdy ability. And what Sturdy does is if it's at max health, that means it's not going to get one shot. That's awesome. And we're going to hook it up with Leftovers. To give it some passive recovery at the end of each turn, 1 16th of its max health recovered at the end of each turn, which can make the difference in battle. Okay, so we got leftovers. So let's take a look at the stats here. So, base 65 HP, not really that good for a Pokemon that is supposed to be one of the best walls in OU. But that's okay, okay, you know why? Look at that shit. Base 140 physical defense. Wow, dude. But you know what? No, 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 son. We are not going to be making it a physical defensive wall. Guess what, bitch? We are making it a special. Actually, it's more or less a mixed defensive wall because of this. Let's just hook it up with the careful nature right quick. <clears throat> so, just take a look at this, uh, that, these stats here. Even without any investment in its base 140 physical defense... It has over 300 defense. That means it's still going to be able to check and counter things like Excadrill, which would otherwise cause problems, especially under Sand, Sand Rush, Swords Dance. Oh, man. With them claws, it'd be over. It'd be fucking over. No, not with this guy. Not with this guy. And I will show you exactly why that is. Because the first off that we're going to do, we are going to add Iron Head for any poke, for any trainer that decides to get gully and send in their Diancie, uh, 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 nope, Iron Head, bitch, four times super effective, gonna take your ass down. Up next, we are going to have that mandatory roost for that delicious health regain. 50% of its max HP is going to be restored. And this thing can easily spam roost because it's not gonna go down anytime soon. Up next, we are going to set up some spikes, bitch. And this goes very well in combination with the fact that Garchomp has stealth rocks, has two ways to phase you out. Oh, but speaking of phasing, check this shit out. Whirlwind works the same way as Roar. Phases out opponents that think that they can set up on you all day, every day, just because you're a skarmory and you're not offensively that threatening. So we got Whirlwind. And of course, yeah, suggested set physically defensive. Nah, fuck that shit. We got special defensive because this thing, surprisingly enough, with base 70 special defense maxed out, can take special hits. So, this right here is shaping up to be a very good team. But, we're missing the last part of the Dragon Steel and Fairy Core. And I decided, I decided. Who better than Sylveon? Yeah, bitch. Sylveon. Pixelate, which means that it takes normal type moves, gives the 30% boost in power, and that means it gets turned into fairy type moves, boosted by stab. Oh, God, that's ugly. So, we are going to give this cutie leftovers. And then we got Hyper Voice. Oh, not Hyoper. It's Hyper Voice. Hyper Voice. Hyper Voice. 
Heal Bell, and what Heal Bell does is it cures the par the user's party of all status conditions. That means that this team can be paralyzed to fuck, toxic to fuck, fucking burned to fuck, it doesn't matter. This thing, all it's gotta do is just chime that little Heal Bell, and all that is over. So Heal Bell, and up next, we are gonna go with Wish. This here is a two-turn move, and this is perfect because... If you want to wish pass into a Pokemon that needs that juicy ass health regain, well, Sylveon's your girl. This this is just this is shaping up to be awesome. However, if this thing needs to be healed up itself, we got protect. Protect guarantees the wish to kick in, Sylveon to get that juicy ass health back. And let's just take a look at the stats here, okay? It's got 95 base HP, that's awesome. 65 on the physical defense. That is actually doable. Has base 110 special attack. Even without any investment. Pixelate boosted hyper voice is going to hurt. That is something that is so good about Sylveon. Being a physical, special, mixed tank, whatever the fuck you want to make it. Because even without any investment, it's pixelate boosted attack are still going to hurt. So, you know what we're going to do? We are going to make it nearly max HP. We're going to definitely boost up that physical defense and put the rest into special defense. We are going to give it a bold nature and just take a look at those sexy-ass stats. 393 on the HP, 251 on the physical defense, 298, nearly 300 on the special defense. That special defense base 130, baby. Even without any investment, it's going to just yum, 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 like a fucking protein shake. Then special hits all day long. Special hits. Fucking protein shakes. Just like me. So, that forms the Dragon, Steel, and Fairy Core to protect Hoopa Unbound, which is the MVP of this team, okay? So, we still have two members missing. So I'm thinking here, I'm thinking, okay, so if the team that I'm facing decides to litter my ass with a bunch of entry hazards, well, guess what, bitch? We got Latios, or Latias, Ugh! and you know what? We're going to give it a life orb, and what life orb does, as I alluded to with Hoopa Unbound, increases the damage output of moves by 30% at the cost of 10% of your health, and with Levitate, bitch, that means that it's immune to ground-type moves, unless you face a Pokemon with Mold Breaker with a ground-type move. That's not good. So obviously, mandatory move is going to have to be Defog. And what this does is it removes all entry hazards from the field and lowers foe's evasion, which is very good. However, I have to warn you about Defog. It works uh, for you and against you because while it blows away your opponent's entry hazards, also blows away yours. So please use it with caution if you absolutely need it, okay? So we got Defog. Up next, we need to have Roost, okay? And Roost, like I alluded to with Skarmory, heals 50% HP, flying type removed until turn ends. But the thing is, this thing is a Dragon Psychic type Pokemon, so it it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, bitch. Up next, we got Psyshock. Oh, wait. Psy, there we go, and it damages the targets based on defense, and this is good because this makes it a pseudo-mixed attacker, even though it has its special attack only to work with. This is great, baby, this is fucking great. And of course, shout out to my man, PokeMMD, drop a Draco, bitch! This is perfect stab! So, suggested spread. Fast special sweeper. We're just going to go balls to the wall. Max special attack, max speed. And of course, we are going to lower the attack IV to zero. That way, you take less damage from foul play. So, Latias and Hoopa Unbound kind of form an offensive core. Uh, they're basically uh, not so much fast, but they, with combined with Life Orb, are just meant to go in and fuck a bunch of shit up. Now, of course, you can't just send that shit in and hope for it to work its magic, because they're going to get bop, 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 and knocked out, and you're going to be left to, 
to stall out your team, and stalling isn't fun, okay? Stalling sucks monkey balls. But speaking of stalling, oh baby, it is time to introduce the mega of the team, the come-from-behind MVP of this team, okay? And who fucking better to check counter the Lottie Twins than Sableye? And you're thinking, whoa, 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 wait a second, wait a second. That little shit can counter both Latios and Latios? Yes, it can. Why? Well, first off, Prankster. What Prankster does is any time that this Pokemon uses a non-attacking move, it gets a plus one priority, which is great. So we're going to give this bitch Prankster. And another way for this thing to be a check and counter to things like the Lottie Twins, how about it's fucking Megastone the Sable Knight? And we're going to go with the moveset Knock Off, because this thing with Knock Off and the fact that it gets Priority Taunt, Priority Recover, Priority Will-O-Wisp, good game already. That's fucking awesome. And Knock Off is a Dark Tie move, which happens to cause super effective damage for the Lottie Twins. So up next, we got Taunt. That way, it shuts down Stall, and it also prevents your team, your opponent's team, from littering your side of the field with entry hazards. I fucking hate littering. I ought to arrest your ass for that. I'm a cop in training, you know. Well, not quite, even though I went to cop college and graduated. Not the point right now, okay? So, up next, we got Will-O-Wisp. And this burns the target, cuts that delicious attack stat in half, meaning that this thing will be bulking hits from both sides all day long. And speaking of bulking up, hits all day long, we got Recover, and this is Prankster Boosted, bitch! Okay, so you're probably thinking, how in the world can this thing tank a fucking Draco Meteor from a Life Orb Boosted Latios or Latias, how about the fact that we're going to make it a specially defensive set, bitch? And we are going to remove eight EVs from the attack, put it right into defense, and there you go, baby. There you go. The thing with base 65 special defense may not seem like much, but upon Mega Evolving, it gets 50 extra base points in that special defense, making it 115. That's crazy. And with max investment in that special attack, you're not going to be going down that easy, baby. You, oh man, this is, this team is almost disgusting. I shouldn't even use it, but I'm a little too late. I did. And it just so happens I, uh, a poor victim happened to have crossed my path and suffered by facing this team. So there you have it, guys. This right here is the team building portion part of this video. Up Fucking next is the demonstration, okay? Oh, actually, wait a second. Wait a moment. Hold the phone. We need to name this team, bitch. We are going to name it Hoopa Unbound Plus Dragon Steel Fairy Core. Hey, that needs to be capitalized. Damn it. There we go. How does that look, guys? How does that fucking look? I hope you guys try this team out. I tried it out once, as I said, <laughs> and this team is awesome. Now, I will say, actually, before I move any further in this video, there are some obvious weaknesses to this team. For one, Ferrothorn could essentially stall out this entire team. Not quite, because guess what? With the fact that... I have Sableye, as long as I have Sableye and I keep it nice and healthy, I am able to actually shut it down completely, burn it, and proceed to stall it out with Recover as it attempts to whittle me down with its attacks, whether it be Power Whip or Gyro Ball. It doesn't matter. But see, as long as I can keep Sableye and Mega Sableye healthy, that's all good, bro. That's all good. And another poke, another weakness is obviously fairy weakness because we got one, two, three, four Pokemon weak to fairy type moves. 
That means that Azumarill could essentially sweep the fuck out of this team. But that's why we got Gunk Shot, bitch. Gunk Shot. That's why we got Skarmory to be a fairy resist. Now, so, now, this right here so far, as I said, is a team that works out. But as I get higher up on the ladder, obviously I'm going to be presented with challenges on this team. So, I hope you enjoyed this team building portion of the video for the 50th time it is now time to get into the battle demonstration. Woo! Okay! So now we got the team building portion out of the way for the team building process for Mega Hoopa. The fuck? Not Mega Hoopa. Ah! It's Hoopa Unbound, although you might as well call it Mega Hoopa because it's just. It's mega cool! And it's mega scary, mega powerful. So now, here comes the team demonstration portion of this video. So let's fucking do this. I'm on the other side of the screen. Fucking annoying, but you know what? That's what that's what happens sometimes. You just gotta take what you get, right? Let's fucking do this. So team preview. We got Excadrill leading and my Mega Sable. Now, here's the thing. I thought that this thing was going to either try and set up on me, so I decided to go for will wisp and burn it right away, because this thing is a threat. But, of course, he switches out into Talonflame, and I'm thinking, oh, fuck. So I switch into my Garchomp, bulking that Brave Bird, and it's Life Orb boosted, too. Look at that! Almost took away 40% of its HP just from that one bit of Brave Bird. It actually wasn't Life Orb boosted, was it? I wasn't paying attention. No, wait, it was a recoil. Never mind. Fuck me. Uh, so anyways, I end up setting up my Stealth Rocks. Now I switch out my Garchomp, predicting a nice punch, and I was right. And of course, Sylveon is just in there to eat any hit that Conk Elder brings. And of course, he switches out. And I decide to go for Hyper Voice just to get some chip damage off. And then comes Venusaur, presumably Mega Venusaur. So I bring my Mega Sableye back in in case it wanted to try and Leech Seed or Toxic Mirror, anything. But instead goes for Hidden Power. Is that like a Hidden Power Fire or some shit, bitch? I don't know. So anyways, he switches out. I decide to go for that knockoff. Knock off that Assault Vest. And at this point, he's just trying to spam knockoff, get some damage off. And it's not doing anything to me. I'm recovering. And this thing just bulks hits all day long. And in comes Talonflame. I go for knockoff. Take his ass to school. So that's one threat down. So in comes flip-flops. Now I'm thinking, okay, does this shit have Dazzling Gleam? I'm willing to bet it does. So I switch into my Skarmory, and yes, I was right! And look at that! Scar Skarmory just ate that up like an ice cream cone! So he switches out, goes into what ca gets completely countered by Skarmory, and it's just, like, I'm just like, wow, dude. And then he goes for Earthquake, over-prediction on his part. So I blow his ass away. And then comes Jellicent, and I'm like thinking, oh man. Now Jellicent is RU, but don't be hating, because Jellicent's fucking good. And he forfeits! Oh, dude! So, that right there just goes to show, if you know how to play this team correctly, this team is going to be difficult to break down, because you got Koopa Unbound and Latias as my offensive duo, and you got the combination, the quadruple threat of defensive Garchomp, special defensive Skarmory, mixed defense Sylveon, and, well, pretty much special defensive Mega Sableye, just eating those hits in between each other. It's just, it's, it's, it's gory, man. It's fucking gory. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this near 30 minute long video. In fact, I think it might be spanning over 30 minutes. Holy fuck. Uh... Wow, definitely one of the longest videos I've ever made. So if you guys sat through this entire video and listened to my insane self rant and educate you guys on how to build a team around Hoopa, Hoopa Unbound, then you deserve to be put on the wall of fame. And if you guys have watched this video from start to finish, let me know and I will give you some special props, baby. Woo! So... Hope you guys have yourselves a good one. I shall see you guys next upload!